Hello everyone and welcome back. I have got my coffee, I have got my Pop-Tart, I've had my nap, and I am ready to do some commentary. All right, we are doing the Gigaseum. This is one of the most entertaining game worlds in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. It was originally supposed to be called World of Sport, but instead it's the Gigasy. Okay, fat blokes and nappies. I got the record for this one and I did it in like half a second. And the way I was able to do that was by using a hyperdrive, impulse engine, whatever you want to call it. It is an engine that actually begins working before the game even starts. So I will give you an example here. I'm going to download the exact vehicle that I used to get the record. And I am going to go back to Fat Blokes and Nappies. And Fat Blokes in England are fat guys and nappies are diapers, so... I think they I think these guys look like fat guys in diapers. Not that Piglet's wearing a diaper. He's not wearing anything. All right, look at this. Look at this vehicle. So basically, it is a monstrosity that sits on a tower. And you launch it by starting the game. You don't even have to hit the gas or anything. It'll actually start moving before the game even begins. See, it's got the hyperdrive embedded inside. And you basically have to do it like a million times until it crashes exactly in the middle of the dartboard. And then you just hop out and pause the vehicle and then you can go around hitting all the guys out of the ring, the fat blokes out of the ring with uh, the sinkers that are attached. And there was a couple of games where I said, you know, if I use the impulse drive, kind of like in Spring Break, I could get a bunch of wins before the game even started if it crashes exactly where I need it to crash. Okay, see, this is what usually happens. It doesn't crash anywhere near where you need it to crash. But I added it, I did it about a million times and finally I got it to work. This is what you want. Oh, actually, no, I did it a million and one times. This is what you want. Never mind, I did it a million two times. But you can see how uh, frustrating this can be. Just waiting for it to crash at the exact spot. And I thought I edited this better. But at least it does give you some idea of, uh, of patience you have to be in order to get some of these records. But if I recall when I actually got the record, the thing shot straight up in the air and shot straight back down again and crashed face down on the dartboard. That's how I was able to get the record. Here we go. See, I jump out. All right, that's a two seconds. That's no record right there. But if I had jumped out immediately and paused it at like half a second, like I should have, I would have the record. So now it's just a matter of pushing Banjo and Kazooie around with a bunch of blocks and using those sinkers to uh, hit the nappy guys and push them out of the ring. Okay, and then the second one, I did not create this vehicle at all. Somebody else has credit for that. But uh, basically this vehicle for, um, what is this called? Unhappy Landings. This vehicle will never stop. And you can't jump out of it 
once it begins, the most you can do is just end the game, but that won't give you a record. So let me show you what the record looks like. See, it just moves like that, and it just keeps going in circles and circles. And the only way to really get it to stop is for it to hit something and flip over in just the right way to stop. Which is one of the reasons I didn't just get the record by like a thousand. I got the record by like a hundred thousand higher than the previous guy because I couldn't get the stupid thing to stop. But then I remembered my physics and uh, the lessons that I used to learn about uh, cycles and hertz. And I'll show you here what I did. Okay, that's what the vehicle looks like. Just a bunch of bumpers and springs all together. And you get it down the bottom of the ramp. Without crashing. And then hope it starts moving by itself. This one's not moving. So we try it again. But basically what I did was uh, I got the frequency of banjo to match the frequency of the turn that this vehicle's making, like the circle. So basically I looked at the top of banjo's head and I kept the stick pointed at the top of banjo's head. in the same direction as the circle, so I moved it at the same pace, so I matched the frequency, and that actually got the vehicle to move forward in a straight line, and I was eventually able to crash into Piglet, and that flipped the vehicle over. See, this thing's never gonna stop now, unless you match the frequency with your uh, joystick controller and get it to move in a straight line and crash into an object. And then it'll slow down for like half a second and actually record the time. But you just get it going like this and you put a rubber band around your wired, wired controller and then leave the game for like three days. And that'll give you enough uh, distance to get the record. But if you just let it spin and spin, it'll just keep going and going like this. And that's one of the biggest complaints I see on YouTube about this game is uh, if you want to go for a record, it's like, that's great, but how do I get the stupid thing to stop? Well, the trick is to use physics and use frequencies. All right. What we got next? Burning rubber. Not proud of this one at all. I had the record flying as fast as I could, and then uh, I got beat couple of times and finally I said uh, I'm not a proud man let me cheat and get the fastest time which is exactly what I did I flew as far as I could until I was like one second shy of the record time which actually was uh, almost exactly like where that red gate is all the way across and I pushed banjo the rest of the way Because the guys that got the fastest time in this game, unbelievable flying. You can look at their records. But I don't know. I just have this, uh, this innate desire in me to be number one. So I said I'm going to get there by hook or by crook, but I will get number one in every game. Trying to get this dice out of the way. Dice or die? I moved it a little bit. Let me try to move it again. If these three engines will get stuck inside the dice if I'm not careful. Let me hit it again. There. And it exploded. 
I couldn't explode when I hit it. Okay, so that's basically what I did until I got the record. Just fly as far as you can, as fast as you can, jump out of the vehicle and pause it, and then push Banjo the rest of the way to the finish line. Halftime Snacks imported a custom vehicle into a log challenge. That's how I got this record. So I needed wheels on my vehicle. So I pulled forward, I got my four pieces, and then I paused it by picking up my vehicle. And then I got rid of the wheels because I don't need the wheels anymore because I already pulled forward to get my pizzas. And then I adjusted the wings a little bit so they actually cover the hole where the pizzas are. So they don't fall out while I'm, while I'm flying. There we go. And off we go. Gotta go faster, faster, faster. Don't hit anything. This actually was a pretty good run. I think I did it about a million times because I wanted to get below like... What was it like? Five seconds, something like that. Or maybe it was 30 seconds. Yeah, I wanted to get below 30. And I finally did it, and I said, okay, that's enough. Alright, let's look at the next one. Hopefully I didn't cheat on this one. I'd hate to think I beat an entire act by cheating. Tumbling domies. Nope. This one, I just stole somebody else's vehicle. And I just kept doing it again and again and again and again until I got the record. Because look at how fast you have to uh, knock down these dominoes. Well, first of all, you got to get all 140 of them. And look at this monstrosity of a vehicle. It's got every jet engine, it's got torpedo aisles, it's got super fuel, it's got a suck and blow. Face in one way and another second blow face in the other way. And it launches like a bat out of hell. And it's also got these poles sticking out the side that actually take out a couple of the dominoes that you wouldn't normally reach. So you smack it. And look at how fast this bar goes up to the blue area and to the finish. And that was in slow motion. We're going to do it in fast motion. Look at how fast that meter goes from the red area into the blue area all the way to the top. After I back up, here come back all the dominoes. Like magic, they're resetting themselves. Oh, and I got some sinkers behind me to get close to the dominoes. Look at how fast that thing moves. Alright folks, that's it. I will see you next time for the Gigasium Act 3, but until then, I want to thank you for tuning in. Y'all have a good day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.